Cause you gonna see not much here, you know. Especially like where I was living at at first, we had to uh, find people to play with, ride bikes. We, we did it all, you know. That was my mom working at a store, so I used to just go over there and just sit with my mom sometimes. Like I said, it's, it's been us, it's just us, so. It ain't much here at all. This is the way I used to walk to school, um, this road right here. Just be on the sidewalk. I ain't never had to get up too early, or nothing like that. Cause I used to do it right down the road. All right, this house right here is on the corner. This used to be my room, like right there. You can see the um, windows on it. But yeah, this used to be my house. First time, we first moved to Mississippi, we um, stayed out there, right, right behind the score, store I was telling you about. And then we moved over here, that was the second one. Um, and we moved to a project after that um, burnt, the house caught on fire. And then we moved again, so it was like four to five times. We, I don't know, we kept bouncing around, so. I guess couldn't help stay stable. It's a tough place to grow up because it's, it's not a lot of money here. It's nothing for the kids to get into. It's nothing for the kids to do around in this area because it's a rural area. So sports is very important because a lot of times sports keep these kids in school. Coming up on the coast shore, you know, he was one of the first one of the guys that were like, don't let school use you, you use school. Everybody got to have something to fall back on, especially with um, football, you know. Football don't last long. People know his injury happen every day. My thing is I need to get my degree because um, never know when this football career might be over with. He was a big man on campus in that, you know, the kids looked up to him. They, they saw the, a leader in Jeffrey and a lot of them aspired to you know, become a person that they thought Jeffrey was going to become. The class that I was in my senior year was now my godmom class, the class that she was teaching before she passed. As y'all can see, this class, her student did like a big thing for her. And actually, it's like, it's me and her right here on the picture here. So, you know, now as I'm going on the field, you know, I had the three nephews who passed, now her. So every time I step on the field, I'm thinking about them. I remember my brother was a little older than me, and you know, they were ready to go to Atlanta. I think I was like five, you ready to turn six, and one of the coaches asked, did I want to go and play? And I, was, I actually went, um, dressed out and everything, got in. So ever since then, I just loved it, um, the game of football. Watching the students matriculate through the high school halls, you know, he was never one to be loud or rowdy, but on the field, he dominated. So I'm like, wow, is this the same kid? When he was in eighth grade, I told everybody, I said, this kid right here, um, he, he's, he got that. The things that you do when coach is not looking, I can remember during the summer, after we had summer workouts, he used to come back in the evening and dine on the practice field by himself. And that right there let me know right then that this, this kid is going to be special. Mr. Primetime Jefferson. Don't mess me up, bro, on the camera. No, I got to be focused, man. <laughs> in the high school, his name was Jeffrey Primetime Simmons. They used to call me Primetime when I was in high school. It was a big thing, you know, every time I made a play, they were like, Jeffrey Primetime Simmons on the play. He was the type of kid that he controlled the game. He took over the games. And I can remember we played against Starf for him. Starf had A.J. Brown. And, you know, Jeffrey had like five sacks, uh, a block punt, block field goal, uh, 17 tackles, he just took over the game. I've never seen a defensive player do that, ever. Make sure y'all get them championship trophies. I got three. Let's see. Yeah, 12, that's it, 14. Yeah, that's right. Them three right there in the middle. I'm on these down here. It's still ninth grade, the freshman year. These are the boundaries here. We'll see it in the back back there. I still had the dread. Good thing I cut them. You know, once he got his first couple of stars or his three star, he that wasn't that wasn't good enough for him. I can remember him telling me, Coach, by my senior year I'm gonna be a five-star athlete. 
And I said, son, just keep on working. You know, it's gonna come. And, and that's what he did. Even when he was being recruited, I mean, he was still just humble. Jeffrey just took it all in stride. He never got the big head, never. At 21 years, I've never seen an athlete that come through recruiting. I feel like I have a great opportunity at Mississippi State, especially going in, just, just got to learn the defense. I think I got a great chance of playing right off. Inside give, ball knocked free on the tackle. Bulldogs with the recovery. Jeffrey Simmons was the guy who made the hit. His desire to be a great player impacted me, you know, right from the start. Playmaking ability doesn't sneak up on you if you're a coach. And you see those traits early on, and, and I saw them in him, so, so it was, it was kind of cool to see it actually uh, play out in the game. Coach Big was like, you know, this your time, this your time, you know, show what you, everybody been waiting on. And I say it was, it felt like an unbelievable feeling, you know. You know, when I made that first play, all I could think about, like, thank you, thank you. To see him that first game in the Mississippi State uniform, it was, it was just, it was just overwhelming to me. This kid worked so hard to play on that level. And he's doing the same thing he did in high school. He's been a great leader, great teammate. You gotta feel it, man. You gotta come on the heart, man. You gotta come on the heart, man. Yeah, you feel that. Hey, yeah. Hey, family on three, one, two, three, man. There's so much passion in this game, and you know, every time I step on the field, I want to play for people who are not actually playing the game. Children in the hospital. I know some of them um, little guys wish they were playing football right now, but they can't. Little boys, they look up to me, especially knowing I play football. And sometimes I get chills, you know, because you know, doing something that I never had. Looking at, you know, especially in some of the guys in the NFL, they doing things like that. That just motivate me. You know, I could do the same thing. His character. Uh, what he's going to mean to the community that's fortunate enough to get him and I would stand on the table for him that he's going to represent him the right way. He'll take accountability for his actions, you know, in the past and he certainly won't have to uh, do anything uh, to apologize for the future because he's going to be a tremendous asset uh, for wherever he goes. Many people don't get that second opportunity in life. From um, the time I stepped on campus and up to now, um, you know, I've been, you know, Holding my word to, to the, the AD, like I told him, that was a um, poor decision I made while in high school. He came back and spoke to my students, and it helped. We did have some students that were kind of becoming behavior problems, and after talking to, the, to him, it helped. With the situation I was in, I wanted to just mentor them, you know, to make the right decision, not just playing sports, because, you know, um, it can backfire on you um, if you make the wrong decision. So I want to come back and mentor kids. I want to, you know, help out the youth. I Coach Shorter doing did for me, you know. Um, he brought me on his wings. You know, that's what I want to do too. You know, thank God we're not judged by what we do once, but it's what we repeatedly do. And what he repeatedly does is be a good person. You know, he's uh, compassionate to other people. He's a good friend. He's a good teammate. He's a good guy to coach. When you see a kid growing up from fifth grade and then get on that level, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, that's the thing that as a coach you want to see happen. I have seen the struggle that him and his family went through in, in the projects and things like that. So uh, to see him at this point right now and to get away from an environment that he was in, uh, it's just, it's just so, you know, I'm just so proud of him.